In this video, I'm going to show you how to use any generic gamepad, such as the two shown here, uh, Super Nintendo controller, this is a non-third-party uh, Xbox controller, to use Xbox Cloud. I am running Linux, uh, Ubuntu specifically, and to start, let's install a Chromium-based browser. I'm going to use Snap to install Brave. This is a relatively quick process. And while that's installing, let me show you a schematic of what we're going to be doing. So essentially, this is a little bit of a hack, but it works surprisingly well. The key is the two components in the middle here. So we have our generic, ga generic gamepad and Xbox Cloud at the right-hand side. The bridge between the left and right is two components. First, anti-micro, which allows you to virtualize key presses and mouse movements of any gamepad. And then a browser extension called Keyboard and Mouse for Xbox X Cloud, which it virtualizes the Xbox controller. Brave is now installed, so let's launch that. And we're going to work backward here from the right hand side to the left hand side. So let's start by going to Xbox Cloud. Xbox.com slash play. And we will need to log in. If you are a Game Pass subscriber, you will have xCloud included in your subscription. Otherwise, you will need to sign up. Uh, first month is $1. So I'm going to pause while I log in. Okay, there's a little bit of redirection that occurs to authenticate. Sometimes this takes a moment, but once it's complete, you should be returned back to xbox.com slash play and greeted with a list of games. Let's just demonstrate on Halo Infinite here. You'll notice there's a warning that a controller is disconnected or idle. Let's continue anyway. Um, this rocket indicates it is now spinning up an instance of Xbox, uh, I believe, on X actual Xbox hardware in the cloud on Microsoft's uh, data center somewhere. I'm going to mute this because it's rather loud. And the game is already launched. The only problem is we have no way to input any key presses, button presses to our instance of Xbox here. So the next step, again, I said we're going to work backward from the right hand side. We can't press A, so let's turn to our map here. We're going to install the keyboard and mouse for Xbox Cloud X uh, the Chrome extension. So let's go to Chrome extensions. If you're new to the Chromium browser space, Brave is one of many flavors of Chrome. There's also Chromium, um, which is a source available Chrome-based browser. Or it's the, Chrome is based on Chromium. It's probably a more correct thing to say. And there's also Edge and other options. So we have Virtual Keyboard, Xbox. Here you are with the green, classic Xbox green color scheme here. We can go to the uh, bottom and you can see the website for this fellow and some more instructions, supported browsers, and a uh, little screenshot of what we're going to see when we open this up for virtualizing the Xbox controller. So let's add this to Brave. And that's pretty quick. You'll see now there is a new extension here, but we're not able to interact with it. We can remove it, we can pin it, we can't do much else. So what we need to do is this is set up to only be enabled on xbox.com and that's fine. Uh, so site access is to xbox.com and gamepadtester.com. Let's refresh. We need to refresh our xbox.com connection here. Um, I should probably go back to xbox.com slash play, but let's see what it does. Okay, so we already see click here to enable analog mouse control. That's a good sign. Um, able to communicate with servers so I think it didn't like me refreshing the page that way but you'll see now this is enabled it's not grayed out and we can customize our key bindings I'm gonna customize one thing here I find that tab key is problematic in the browser I'm gonna map this select button which would be this one here on the gamepad to caps lock instead 
and we'll save that. The other key bindings are shown here. Space is A. Um, the, the, the left stick is mapped to WASD like you would have in a first person shooter and the right stick is mapped to the mouse. So with that, we're able to now launch a game. F11 is to go full screen. And the keyboard and mouse will now work. So we've, we've, um, we've got this connection working. So now we just need to connect anti-micro into the loop so that we'd be able to use any generic gamepad to virtualize, uh, to, to, to generate virtual keyboard presses and mouse movements to feed into xCloud. Just want to demonstrate. Indeed, spacebar does trigger and uh, we can now navigate the menus here and we could launch a game if we'd like, but we're not going to do that yet. So I'll just hold for a moment. Now we're going to sudo apt, whoops, sudo apt install anti-micro. There's also anti-micro X, which is the later embodiment currently um, still supported, but anti-micro is in most repositories for for Ubuntu, it's it's um, already already available, and I already have it installed. So let's launch that now. This is a little tricky. You will need to set up your controller. Again, I have two controllers here. This is a Super Nintendo style controller, and this is a generic Xbox um, purple Power A. It's it's not. It's a third party controller. It is not an Xbox official controller, and I had problems. Um, I can show you. If I go back here, it will not recognize any presses from, well, it will now because I have anti-micro running. Okay, anti-micro. Let's, let's go over a couple things here. So I have the right stick mapped to mouse movements, and you, there's some customization available here. I would recommend you play with the acceleration for whatever works best for you. Uh, there's a lot of options. Linear just means any movement will move the mouse in a very linear fashion. Enhanced precision means smaller motion is non-proportionally small compared to large motion. Uh, I have it on a cubic setting right now. And you can adjust your dead zone. If I move this out to the smallest degree, then the mouse will start drifting on me. So we like to set a little bit of dead zone. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that because now it's going to be a problem to get it back. Eh. Yeah, don't do, don't do what I just did. Okay, you need a little bit of dead zone if your controller's not perfect. Yeah, about right, right like that. And on the left stick, my left stick is totally messed up, as you can see. So um, I have a pretty big dead zone set there because it'll just drift like crazy. But if your controller's working better, you won't have to do that. As a backup, I also have the D-pad mapped to WASD. I'm actually going to make that even bigger. Okay, so here's WASD, WASD, uh, left and right shoulder buttons are mapped to C and Q, the triggers are mapped to left and right mouse buttons, and A, B, X, Y, as well as the middle buttons here are all mapped. So if we go back to xCloud, we have now completed the loop from generic gamepad, anti-micro, keyboard and mouse to Xbox Cloud, X Cloud. The funny thing is all of these are simultaneously mapped, so I can I can navigate with my SNES controller. I can navigate with the, the keyboard, because this is emulating keyboard presses. This is emulating keyboard presses. It's all going back to the keyboard and then the keyboard and mouse are emulating Xbox presses. So don't hate me, but I'm going to play around with my controller here and multiplayer. And let me change unmute here. It's going to be a little loud. I don't know how to adjust the volume without going to the menus. It's a little tedious. So I'm just going to mute this for now. Match starting. Here we go. 
make sure one more time that we're recording. Yes. Oddball. So you'll see, you, whoops, I did not mean to press F1. That, that is the help center. Hold on. So be careful with your key presses. But uh, it says click here to enable mouse analog mouse control. You can use your gamepad to click there. And if you need to escape, you can exit. Round one. Hold on for as long as possible. Win. Hold the ball. ball. I like this one. Incoming. It doesn't require you to be very precise in your aiming, and I'm not great. Okay. Oh, what? I took it right out from under me. I think I think I'm so bad. I've been connected to the like first players because this is this is not very, not very impressive. Where, where, oh, shoot! Punk. I see how it is. All right, where'd they go? Let's get this ball. I'm gonna hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. There's an energy spur over there. Oh crud, there's a dude right there. Oh, oh, oh. Should I throw it? Should I throw it? I got some points for ball control. I'm gonna circle back around. Oh crud, that was the wrong move. I gotta watch my radar. As you can see, I have not played video games for a decade. Not seriously, at least, just holidays. And xCloud has been an awesome reintroduction with very low risk, low cost. I picked up this used controller for $10 on Marketplace. And uh, yeah, it's not ideal, but it's still, it's still fun. Still fun, and I can play with... Uh, Oh, An ally gosh. slain the carry. My bag. <laughs> I got the credit Hold for that. that and we win. Active camo inbound. That's hilarious. We're not doing so well on the. Uh... Oh gosh. What? <laughs> I should have been able to get him. He was so slow to kill me. We have the ball. Pretty embarrassing. Should I do this? Oh, what happened? Oh no! Oh no, it turned off. Ha! Huh. Oops. Okay, so this is terrible because I can't jump. And I think I can jump. Ball dropped. Allied carry down. Enemy has the ball. I keep oh my gosh. Lost the lead. I'm trying to throw a grenade, but I don't have that button mapped either. As you can see, it works with the Super Nintendo controller. Ball dropped. Hostile carrier down. Working. We have the ball. Oh gosh, I thought I could jump. I tried to push that. Button. And let's just demonstrate the mouse now. I'm gonna let my team down here. I probably better. Uh, Gain the lead. Nearing victory. Word. All dropped. What are these guys doing? What am I doing? Okay. That's too hard because my sensitivity is way too. Enemy low. has the ball. And it's Enemy touch such bad news. It's ideal. all now. Come on, come on. Power items inbound. Hide. Oh gosh. Round one. Yeah. That's how it's done. Enemy so facing options. Round oh, we got another round. Options here. Incoming. I'm gonna stop recording. A win is in but you can. Would you like with that information? Enemy has 